Rack Focus. Hey everybody, Johnny O from the Plot Hole, and it's time for Unpopular Opinions, episode number 10. Let's get right into it. Unpopular opinion number one. Vampires are weak. Seriously, they are the worst of the movie monster genre. They're always romanticized or overhyped. I mean, let's take it the recent sparkly vampires bull poo that we've gotten lately. Yes, I'm trying to limit the amount of times that I curse, especially while talking about vampires. Vampires are bullshit and shouldn't be respected. I said limiting, and before all of you literature nerds want to hit me up with this whole, Bram Stoker's Dracula is about the struggle and differences between rich people and poor people. Yes, I know. Bram Stoker's Dracula is one of my favorite novels. As a matter of fact, it's one of the only vampire novels that I do appreciate. And the movie wasn't bad either. I mean, in spite of Keanu's terrible British accent. In fact, if it weren't for the performances of Sir Anthony Hopkins and Gary Oldman, that movie would have found its way in the bargain bin at Wally World quicker than quick. Unpopular opinion number two. Displaying a sign for whoever it is that you're voting for is nothing more than your call for people to TP your house. Sorry, not sorry. You don't want people stealing or shitting on said sign? Don't put a sign out. I mean, what purpose does that sign serve? It's not like people are gonna look at your sign and say, ooh, I need to vote for Biden-Harris, or ooh, I need to vote for Trump-Pence. That's the dumbest thing in the world. Nobody cares. Those signs do nothing more than advertise that you want somebody to leave flaming bags of Nathan Thompson's lunch on your doorstep for you to step on. Those are flaming bags of dog poop for all of you out there scratching your head right now. Seriously, why did you buy and display that sign in the first place? Are you that arrogant that you think that you putting that sign out there is going to have any kind of effect on the voting population whatsoever? Now, for the house that has any capable adult 2020, you're exempt from this rant. Unpopular opinion number three. Blowfield nerd angle, this one's for you. Getting upset that somebody calls a person a pedophile with no evidence to support that claim and then turning around and calling another person a child predator is the epitome of hypocrisy. Now, let me get a bit into the why for this one. Recently, Danny Pratt has gone on rants calling Irish Demon, Team Skeptic, and Fight the Flat Earth pedophiles, a completely baseless claim that should be called out and dealt with accordingly, be it YouTube kicking out Prattalicious and his channel or other legal means. However, the debunker community has taken to calling Nathan Thompson a child predator. Whereas debunkers are quick to clarify what they mean, Nathan Thompson is notorious for targeting children and young teenagers with his flat smacking. He even calls the series Red Pill the Youth. So yes, by definition, Nathan does prey on children. However, we all know what an incendiary thing calling somebody a child predator is. The fact that we have to clarify it almost every single time we use that term is evidence of this. We need to stop it. Call him a moron. Call him stupid. Call him a smelly homeless dude that eats dog poo for lunch. Whatever. But let's not stoop to Pratt's level and continue to call Nathan Thompson a child predator. Finally, doxing is a shitty thing to do. People have a reasonable right to anonymity, even as content creators. I do not condone releasing anyone's private or even public information without said person's consent. That being said, we content creators have to understand that the threat of doxing comes with the territory. This is a public forum where people can and will do shitty things to one another. Once again, it's completely wrong and my opinion isn't in any way, shape or form a means to justify people who dox other people. If you find yourself in a position to dox someone, don't. Be the better person. We content creators have to assume a bit of responsibility for this. I don't like when people get docs in the same manner that I don't like it when paparazzi follows around and stalks celebrities. However, celebrities, like content creators, have to accept that paparazzi comes with the territory. 
It sucks, yes, but do we have a reasonable right to complain about it? I mean, if you don't like it, don't create social media content. It's really that simple. Turn off all your face spaces and snapograms and Twitter verses and walk away. When you step into the fray of content creation, the threat of doxing is real. And the longer you swim in that pool, the more likely that being doxxed is gonna happen. Take precautions to protect your information. Use a VPN, whatever. But don't get too upset when someone releases your information when you go on a rant in a video, either a comment video or a reaction video calling said person a moron or stupid. As for you who have doxxed, take a long look in your shattered mirror and ask yourself this, when's the last time I showered? And if it's been longer than a day, jump in the shower, wash that negativity off, and think about your life had someone doxed to you. Do you want death threats sent your way? If not, then don't put other people in the crosshairs of that behavior. If you think, meh, I can handle it, then ask yourself this. Do I want to be responsible for somebody's death or mental breakdown over something as silly as a YouTube video? Now, if you're being bullied or targeted on YouTube, then by all means, take your information to the authorities and let them handle it appropriately. Step back from social media. Don't be a doxer. On the flip side, creators, stop worrying about being doxxed. It's probably gonna happen. If you have some situation where a doxing could cost you your livelihood or your life, then don't partake in content creation. We have to take responsibilities for the risks that we take. Now, that does not excuse the shitty behavior, but it does come with the territory. And that's Unpopular Opinions with Johnny Yo, episode 10. If you liked today's video, hit that thumbs up button. And if you didn't, thumbs down is okay too. Be sure to share your unpopular opinions in the comment section below. If you enjoy the content and you want to support the channel, you can do so at www.patreon.com slash theplothole1. That's the number one, not the Oneers. Yes, I'm still telling that shitty joke, which means I haven't hit that 25 patron mark yet. Once I do, I'll stop telling the joke and raffle off an awesome prize pack with a shirt, a mug, and a bunch of other goodies inside. I also have merch available at theplothole.com. I've got this shirt here, and I also have a limited series of Halloween merch. I get it before it's gone. If you can't support the show monetarily, I completely understand where you're at. Times being what they are, it's kind of shitty. A simple like, share, and subscribe is greatly appreciated. It helps the algorithm. I'm Johnny Yo, and remember, keep your opinions unpopular. popular.